In this video, we're going to use De Moivre's theorem to show that this expression can be written in the form k times cosine theta take away i sine theta, where k is a constant to be found. Okay, So there's a bit of indices knowledge with uh, De Moivre's theorem in here as well. So, uh, so in the numerator, we've got 2 cubed. Okay, So that's 8. And you've got... Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Because we've got the minus here... I'm going to rewrite the arguments as cosine of minus 8 theta, okay, and plus i sine of minus 8 theta. And then uh, we've got it cubed, so the 3 is going to multiply with those. So we're going to have cosine of minus 24 theta plus i sine of minus 24 theta. Okay, times by, so we've got 3 to the power of 4, so 81, times cosine 5 theta plus i sine 5 theta to the power of 4, so 5 times 4 is 20, so cosine of 20 theta uh, plus i sine 20 theta, okay, over, now in the denominator, we've got 1 half to the power of 8, so 2 to the power of 8 is 256, so 1 over 256. Um, and I'm going to do a similar trick to what I did here. So I'm going to write this as cosine of minus 9 theta plus i sine minus 9 theta. Then we've got that to the power of 8, so 8 nines are 72. So cosine of minus 72 theta uh, plus i sine minus 72 theta. Okay? times. Then we've got 9 cubed, so uh, 9 cubed is 729. Then we've got 23 times 3, so 69, so cosine of 69 theta plus i sine 69 theta. Right, okay. So in the numerator then, we've got 8 times 81. Um, well, actually, what I could do, what would probably be best if, if I deal with the numbers first, because I've got 8 times 81 over 1 over 256 times 729. So uh, we've got 8 times 81 uh, divided by 1 over 256 times 729. And that gets us 2048 over 9. OK, so times. So in the numerator, we've got cosine of minus 24 theta plus i sine minus 24 theta times cosine 20 theta plus i sine 20 theta. So when you're multiplying the complex numbers together, um, you can add the arguments, right? So you've got minus 24 theta. Uh, plus 20 theta, so minus 4 theta. So cosine of minus 4 theta plus i sine of minus 4 theta. In the denominator, we have um, minus 72 theta plus 69 theta. Okay, so minus 3 theta. So we've got cosine of minus 3 theta plus i sine of minus 3 theta. So we've got the 2048 over 9 times by. Now here, um, because you're dividing one complex number by another, you subtract the arguments. So minus 4 theta, take away minus 3 theta, leaves you with minus 1 theta, so minus theta. So cosine of minus theta plus i sine of minus theta. Now, of course, because um, cosine is even, cosine of minus theta is just cosine of theta. And sine being odd, i sine of minus theta is the same as minus i sine theta. OK, and so it is in the correct form. So k is 2048 over 9. Okay, and so that's how we can solve this problem.